Steve, how old are you, Steve? I'm 40. How long have you been on the streets? Um, out here, I've been out here a year and a half. I come from Barstow, about That's 30 miles good. away. Yeah. And I was out on the streets for about a little over a year out there. How'd you end up in Victorville from Barstow? Well, I wanted to get away from Barstow. Like, um, just the other day, on the uh, day after Mother's Day, me, like nine years, my mom passed away. Okay. So, um, maybe about six years after that, me and my lady had went through separation. She was cheating on me, so. Um, still didn't have a job or nothing at the time. I moved in with somebody, and somebody I moved in with the next trip. Um, trusted them everything, and then I got everything robbed from me. Everything down to down to a cross that was off my mom's casket. So then I moved in with somebody else, and then so forth and so forth. And then it went to the streets, and then I came out here to try it a little bit better, get away from Barstow. And out here it's been really good, and then I got stuck into a position where I got I got arrested on someone else's accounts. Someone had stabbed a woman and robbed the purse. Well, because of the color of my shirt, I got put in an announcement and it was like not even across away from where, it was over at Fallows where it had happened. Yeah. It was right where the Harbor Freight is. So at the time I just noticed two cars that came in and the next day I'm being arrested and then trying to figure it all out. So right now I'm on three years only rushing because of it. Wow. So, and then trying to live through all this, you know what I mean? So, I mean, you have to deal with, you know, two sides of the moment. You got the bad side, which is like the dirty. And you got the other ones that are trying to clean it up, but not trying to make notions to where, hey, I'm, I know I'm homeless, but, so. Are you doing anything to try to get yourself back on your feet? Yeah, um, lately I really haven't, but I do need to, you know what I mean? Um, I'm still kind of stuck in that transition where, like, you know, I still don't know what I'm doing. And, sure. How about so, the EBT programs and stuff? I mean, so you can eat. You yeah, can I got. I, 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 I can get that and all okay. that. Yeah. So, um, as far as that goes, you're all right on that. But um, some people, I don't know what their situations are in this situation. I know some people they, they can't get it or you know, we're living out of trash cans and stuff like that. So, how about the city? What does the city do for you guys? Are they doing anything? Or are they just trying to get? Out? I don't really see them doing anything. As far as uh, I, I do see some community people out here that do care and they come out and feed and um, a little bit here and there. But as far as anything in these places, you know, I mean, we, most of us don't try to bother these businesses. So if you're just trying to crash for the night, you know, like that's what it is. But sometimes people try to make it a permanent residency. It seems like right now I'm stuck where we moved from the Target to there, you know, and I'm not really trying to be out in the public like that, but. So. You know, we were just by the Target, it. and yeah. I know it's closed down, but there's like a whole bunch of homeless and all yeah, this I stuff just, over there. I walked over there and I said, man, it wasn't even like this yesterday when we left. No, there's, there's a lot of people over there. Yeah, yeah. You said the police came by and told them they have three days to leave? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was told this morning. What so, are they going to do? I don't even know. I don't even know who's over there or who I know or uh, there's certain people I associate with or certain people I don't. Okay. You know what I mean? I noticed that there's a, a huge influx of of homeless up here in the high desert now. I mean, a lot yeah. more homeless now than there were even just a year ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like I said, like Barstow, that's like 30 miles away from here. And then they were doing stuff a little ahead before they were doing it here. And from what I hear, Barstow's cleaned out all the homeless. Really? So where they had a manna, which is means food, well, they moved out to the other side of town where they built the new Walmart. So they pretty much just pushed all the homeless to one side. But then I haven't been out there since, so I don't know what the situations are like. Out here, it's getting real slim. Now it's getting down into the slims, and people are just ended up in jail or this and that, you know. So, um, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm not trying to bother anybody. I don't. I, I don't even go to the pan sure. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't feel like it's. Well, there's a lot of complaints lately too that some of the homeless people they're they are panhandling yes. and doing, when they're, they're, not, they're, they're not getting that money yeah they're bundled up when they're not getting money they're getting aggressive and they're getting rude. yeah they are they are and, uh, and i can i can see two sides of it but the thing that is you know i do understand it as a point of view from from the owner's from you as far as the community there are there are people that go out and feed and bring like on saturdays and sundays you have some people that bring you by um like breakfast burritos and stuff like that. there was a guy that was doing it on sundays on that side of town when I was over there, he was bringing that um, on the Sundays, which was tacos. He'd bring fresh tacos. Sweet. So I haven't seen him in a while, so I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, as far as it goes, is I know all the 
public and everything, you're trying to push people out and yeah. whatever. Because there are people out there that are making big really messes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you and see it a lot ain't of trash. It's hard to really pick up your trash and throw it in the trash. Exactly, because I noticed there's a lot of trash in a lot of different places. They're leaving their stuff out. Like, there's a lot of people you wouldn't even think were homeless. They dress real nice and everything. And you find out they're homeless. You go, wow, this is kind of yeah. really unusual. See, like me, I'm just trying to, you know, if I can find myself a job or I can get a little job and work myself from that and then do whatever, then I'll be all right. Do you see an answer to maybe the whole situation? I mean, is... Yeah, I think there could be if, you know, you find the right person that can kind of get himself to where he's trying to build something up to. Where... And there's a woman that I know that was doing at the shelter. She was, like, helping out the shelter, and then she goes out and she does a little bit here and there. She still goes out and does a little bit, you know, goes out to me, but they shut the shelter down over there because they're bringing too much negativity and they're fighting. And that moves from the fairgrounds onto the backside of the alley. So they shut that down because too many people are fighting and they're like, people bringing drugs in there. And then, you know, like I got kicked out because someone had smoked pot in there. And they they knew I did it, but yeah, there was one guy I didn't get along with. And I was a volunteer. So I got let back in, then I got kicked out by the same person again on something else because I, I told him to pretty much go F off. <laughs> so, um, and then the last one, he had kicked me out on like, So then shortly right after that, when they shut down the children, there was too much more fighting and their drugs. And where are these guys don't have places to live? How are they getting drugs and alcohol? And well, I mean, there's a lot of ways. I mean, people are finding stuff that you can find in the trash. Yeah. I mean, you can hustle around. And there's people that are actually doing some real work. You know, they're doing real work here and there. And then there's people that are just scamming people. Yeah, and it's just... And there's a lot of people that are doing that out here. And I, I see that on a day-to-day -day basis. But see, I, I, I'm not in any of that. You know, so when it comes to them, I leave them alone on that. You know, so I, I'm already trying to stay from the law. I'm not trying to get in any trouble. And, yeah. I'm just trying to live like a normal person. So, uh, my lab, he, yeah, he said that you've been here about a year. Like during the winter time, yeah, what do you do during the winter? It's freezing cold up here. Um, try to stay as warm as you can. Try to find a spot where you're not being bothered, but yet, you know, not trying to make a notion to yourself where you got trash or anything. But trying to find blankets or one thing, you do get blankets from place, but then you got people that are stealing your stuff on top of it. So yeah, like, you might go back to your homeless. spot. Yeah, yeah. And that's just not just a out yeah. here. I mean, what do you do to stay cool? Uh, I try to stay somewhat in shade yeah. and get, you know, a hold of water and food and stuff like that. Sure. But, you know, try to do something to where you can keep yourself a little busy as well. So this will be my um, last. I came out in 15. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 16. Oh, wow. So right, at the end of, right at the end of 16, right in November. So I've been out here since then. Yeah, so two years. Yeah, close to two years, yeah. Yeah, I just been trying to survive through it, you know what I mean? I've been to be watching from all the way from right where Follows area is to down to the river, back to the shelter, and then I moved from different spots. I finally just came over to Ridge not too maybe about a little over a month ago. So I tried to decide out there isn't much food source to this end when you want to get food, but you go back on that side, but then things are getting real scarce over there too, so um, like I said, you know, there, like I said, there are two-sided story when it comes down to it. But you know, there there are some good people out here, sure. and you know, there are some community people that do like you know, that do help. And there's some out there they still don't want nothing yeah. to do with it. So how you, uh, you know, as for instance, like just a couple days ago, I was getting beat up by someone on someone else's account that they they were drunk, but then they, I got put in the process, and not one of these people. <laughs> Community people did anything to try to stop it, and I thought, well, wait a minute. You, you, if you're a community, you don't want none of this, but half of them to step up and, hey, you know, just make a notion to get that person off that person, exactly. that person will get away. Yeah. So, not one of them, and I was out there yelling in the parking lot. Not one of these damn people did anything. You know, and, and I'm not mad at them so much on the account, but no one couldn't even step in. Yeah, and see, they regular civilian, you know, what I mean, decent thing. Yeah, at least done fight. something. Yeah, break yeah. a fight. Yeah. But someone did call the cops, and the cops had stopped the guy, and then they, they asked me a few questions. And, no, I'm not pressing any charges. No blood or no yeah. broken bones or anything, but the thing of it is, it, it just, things are getting tough. 
getting real tough. I'm sorry you have to go through that, Steve. Uh, hopefully that something picks up and turns around for you. hand in hand sometimes someone that you want to put in and you know, kind of figure out that way but as far as it goes you know like 100 well it was 194 I guess it's 192 now so they dropped it two dollars or something something or another but as far as it goes I mean I try to make a stretch you know what I mean I'm not out there like some of these people that go out and sell their UBT cards and all that yeah. I try to at least conserve on that when it comes time but if someone's hungry I'll, I'll feed them you know how about um, like showering Things shower like well as far as showering since i've been on this side there's a, a shelter up here but they they do three days a week which is up so you can shower on those days those days yeah, yeah. so um as far as it goes i mean you ain't got a day-to-day -day basis but but then they have a little bit of totals up there you can get and stuff like that so i mean it's not too bad but as far as everything else it's as long as you're not bringing that into the thing, which is understandable. So, I mean, if someone can abide by the rules and all that, then you're cool, but some things are a little too strict on you know, some things, and that's why some people back away from the country. So, so, I mean, there's a lot of people out here, because some people don't even take showers. Yeah. You know, and you see them and you're going, all right, you, you wonder why you're, you want to get this, this scabbing <laughs> up and all that, you want to get it healed, but yet you're not cleaning yourself to try to clean that wound. Sure. So, I mean, like I said, there's some people you wouldn't even recognize that you thought they were homeless and tell them you're going, whoa, <laughs> you know, but uh, like some people just don't care about their parents. You know, I mean, I try to keep on parents a little bit, you know what I mean? But I don't try to dress a dress apart. Yeah, act exactly. apart, you know, part. I'm just a normal human being just like anybody else. So, but it all depends on the person, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And if they even care or not, but you know, I would like something, see something better in the community. You know what I mean? back away from that either because we are humans as well. It's like if someone told us, oh, we don't have rights. No, we have rights just as much as anybody. You know what I mean? So we can vote, we can do that, you know, whatever it is. But, you know, um, it's just like if someone has a better idea and they step up, I mean, don't, don't, the notion that they don't have any speaking words, you know, but the thing with this is, as far as it goes, you know, is, it depends on the community too. I mean, the community can't always back away from people like that, you know, because what if they get stuck that way in turn? You know? Absolutely. So, yeah. But it starts with the, with the people as well as being in, you know, as, as homeless too. They also have to put their part in too. I'm just a normal human being just like anybody else. I'm just trying to live like a normal person. Or, you know, I'm just a normal human being just like anybody else.